Hello guys and um, welcome back to Amakada Online Training. So um, I'm actually about making a t-shirt, um, a female t-shirt, like um, just above the knee, so about length of 40. But I want to create the Mama Africa look on the t-shirt and I just felt I should share it, okay? So the things I'm going to be needing for this look is going to be my stay. I'm going to stay my... Um, and I'm going to use bridal size. And it's a black fabric. So if it was a different color, then I'll use black to create the face. So because it's a black fabric, I'm going to be using brown to create the face. And then I'm using my Ankara for... Um, and okay, please, this is a picture that we're working with. So where you have the black, I'm actually using the brown... Um, bridal satin and where you have the um, hat scarf like hat I'm going to be mixing my Ankara then I'm using this for the earring and I'm also going to be having Ankara here okay so basically those are the um, fabrics I'll be using to create it so what you do is to get this out you can just get on Google or get on Pinterest right and um, type in your mama Africa looks all right silhouette so this is called a silhouette, you know, so it's just like a trace out of what, you know, you want that thing to be. Okay, of the picture of whatever you have in mind, all right? So this is what I've gotten out, all right? So you can print it. I printed mine on an A3, okay? And of course, this is what I'll be cutting out to do the design I want to. But just in case you cannot print it, I also sketched it okay so this is like a different design i sketched out so you can actually just take a paper but let it be an a3 because it has to be as wide as you know the fabric or how however big you want it to be so you can use an a3 and a4 paper is a bit smaller that's the paper you use for printing so the picture will be a bit smaller right so you can actually sketch out have you seen the sketch looks very lovely as well so because i've sketched i can also say that i'm putting my different fabrics you know so i can cut different fabrics for this part cut my brown for here and then i have my earring so it's still the same thing so you can as well sketch it all right so the next thing i'm going to be showing you is going to be um cutting out um these pieces okay guys so now to cut, cut out these pieces right um i already have this so i know what i want so i'm going to separate this head i'm going to separate the face and i'm going to separate this one i sketched it on my own i added it it's not part of the design but i want a fabric at the neck part so that's why i added you know this to it so you can label them if you choose to you know and you can also use your blade you know to do the cutting so i'm just going to cut around all of it and then separate the pieces and show you okay so i've separated them all right and it's always good you can also mark like here i can just make an arrow you know to know that this is the part i'm putting back here here i made arrows as well so that i know you know what part comes down what part goes up you know like that so that way i know where i'm putting it back you need to do all that so this is so now this is what i have okay so i'm going to now cut this out on this fabrics and i'm going to show you what i want to do next so before i cut out now i'm going to be patching this i didn't want to do this off camera so i needed you to see it so i'm going to be patching this you know i i brought this okay um so that you can if you have this is what you're going to use to trace this i'm going to be tracing this onto another paper I'll trace all the patches like I want to make so I can cut it out on that paper. So I'll do that and I'll show you. Okay, so I've been able to cut them into different pieces, but I have a whole piece which is going to be like the um, back of it. Like I'm pasting the pieces onto this. So what I was doing was just to try to fit in the puzzle back. I know you're not seeing because I'm making a white table, but um, okay. Maybe let me place it here so you can at least see what I'm doing before I start. All right, so I've cut all of them, have you seen, into different um, 
pieces so these are the pieces i'm going to cut out because i'm placing all those pieces on top of this so it's a lot of work but it's the outcome that matters so i'm going to cut out all this now and then i'll show you okay guys so finally i am done um this is the hat you know the part the scarf part you know that i talked about but i had to cut so this is it i've labeled how it goes so that i know so what i did was to cut different pieces different pieces and put it all around so this is how it's going to stay try to make sure that your pieces don't get missing you know so so this is a face mine is small it's not actually big so you can actually make yours um, you know really big okay so i know that this is coming here so i always like like i said i leave this here so i can know how my pattern goes okay so i'll be placing this on here so obviously it's giving me the shape i want and then i'm actually placing this wasn't part of the original uh design but i decided to create something there because i wanted it to look like it's wearing um you know um an Ankara dress okay so that's how it's going to be on my it's small you know so you can make yours really wide mine is not so very wide but that's the earring <laughs> so you can actually make yours wider than that so i just wanted a small face on the um the um t-shirt dress i'm making so that's it so i can actually accessorize it as well so you know you see this i just wanted to show you how to cut this so cut it join your things together create whatever design you want to create you can actually use bias but as well use bias to tape all these if i wanted to give it the black um you know put bias here i may likely put it for the dress it all depends on so it just helps with finishing as well you know, if I didn't want to sew this round, I would have as well used bias to line. So you can create anything you want to. Okay. So I'll be seeing you in the cutting class, and I will also I I may likely show you how to, you know, put this on the um fabric. So all I want to do is just stitch it, you know, stitch it on the fabric or gum it down, whichever one works for you. So we'll see in the next class. Please subscribe if you haven't and, um, you know, give me a thumbs up if you actually did like this video and um, just show me some love. Okay guys, so um, I've been able to sew it down. So that's the last of it. So all I want to do is to stitch this down. So I'm going to complete this stitching and then show you what it looks like. Okay, so... Done. I just chose to add two fringes, you know, to my own, um, to this design. I just decided to, because I didn't want to just leave it, um, you know, like that. So that's it. So I just added the fringes to it. So now it's time for me. Oh, sorry. Maybe let me just bring that out so you can see it. Okay. So that's it. So the next thing is to give it that very nice press. Okay. And I'm now going to turn it into a t-shirt, right? Um, so when I'm done, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so that is what the um Mama Africa silhouette t-shirt dress looks like. So it's um a loose fit right and by the time you stitch everything on you can make yours bigger than this you know but i just wanted to show you the outcome so funny enough i did some frills right on it and um, it came out looking all nice so this i did with just my um three thread weaving machine and my straight sewing machine i mean you can achieve all this with that so if you actually want me to show you how i made my t-shirt just let me know um you know down below and i will probably upload a class for that and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel show me some love you know click on that notification bell icon so when i upload more videos like this you get to see so i have been nita as always your physical and online um 
instructor okay and this has been a macadel online training so let me know what you want um, for the next class and i'll see you in the next class